Okay, so something I thought I would just document on the camera here, part of this short little series of things related to how I make comics. Uh, doing a lot of stuff on paper, kind of old school. Uh, occasionally I, I want to do revisions to a panel I've already inked. Uh, I'm not keen on it. In this case, the hair looks wrong and I don't know. It's not right. Um, I'm going to probably use some tracing paper to revise, sketch over it, and then use transfer that to a new panel. But I want to take it right out of the page so I can have a fresh piece of paper there. So this is a, a trick you could do. I've clipped the paper together. Any way you kind of make it not slip around and move around is good. And because I have a, a black border I can work with, so I can mask anything I do, I'm just cutting a little bit back from the edge and in line with the border next door. And I've got two pieces of Bristol here, same kind of paper that I drew on in the first place. Underneath it, there's another piece, scrap. I keep my scrap for just these sort of things. And I'm cutting both simultaneously. And I'm being careful to hold the knife fairly vertical so that the cuts are not beveled and thus not actually matching with one smaller than the other or larger. We used to do this in Nirvana when I worked in an animation studio in, in Toronto. Uh, on cartridge paper, thin paper, to match backgrounds or replace revised parts without redrawing the entire thing. You could also just mask out something and, photo and photocopy it. But a lot of times you wanted to work on the original. And so you did this. So now I should have. You can see I've cut through all the way this side. I'm going to be able to check it, pop it out. There's a little bit of something still attaching it, so like that. There. So two matching pieces. side, this is the side I cut for, and that looks, it's actually more textured. Can I match the back? No, the proportions aren't right. So that's something to think about if you want to be careful which surface you use, but this will work. So it sits there, but how does it stay there? Well, you do this. Um, any tape will work. I'm just going to use some masking tape. this and redraw my panel. Ta-da! This is the trick.